All right, guys, we're ready to do some initial testing on this here. Um, fire guard panel is here on the left. In the middle is my MAEH24MC. It is set to 800 hertz continuous. On the right there is one of my twin flex call points. Um, I've got my three. I've got three wires going from there from the panel to a little uh, plug-in. Uh, red and black are for the current, and the uh, green is ground. Um, if you if you did notice in the inside the panel, uh, the transformer doesn't really have a ground. But in order to satisfy that plug, I have I've got the third one there. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in here. And obviously I'm gonna get a battery trouble because um, this thing doesn't have a battery in it. So go ahead and open it up here and turn that off. Like I said, just a little trouble silence switch up here. Silences the little piezo. Um, so yeah. Um, for the uh, I, for the supervisory resistor, because this thing has its own end of line resistor built into it, um, I took the end of the uh, end of line resistor that was inside the panel for the first zone, and I put it on the supervisory uh, outputs. So the supervisory trouble has been taken care of. All I've got now is just the battery trouble. So. Let's go ahead and test this out here. Now, obviously, I do have um, the tissues that I originally had in this, if you may remember from the video a while back. Uh, those tissues um, got really torn apart and ratty. So I took and replaced them with toilet paper. Um, toilet paper does muffle it quite a bit more than the tissues did. So anyway... Um, you can see that the uh, LED on the twin flex call point is flashing. That means it's in end of line mode. So, go ahead and test this out here. In three, two, one. Now, as you can see, the uh, twin flex call point is flashing because it's an alarm. You can see that the little yellow flag has popped down. MAEH is sounding. And if you can hear, or as you can hear, it's FWR current. So, go ahead and come in here and reset this. Um... Obviously, I reset that, so it just goes back to normal. The panel, though, obviously, I have to reset itself. Um, if I can get the key in there. Alright, so, down here, just below the little uh, trouble silence switch is, a, is a, the reset switch. So you push that over, you can see all, all the zones are in trouble. And you let go of that, everything returns to normal. Well, semi-normal for me because I don't have the battery in there, but that'll be normal until I can find a proper battery. Um, another cool thing is with this, I'll bring the camera over here. Kind of zoom in so you can see it there. Uh, with the little reset uh, switch, if you flip, if you were to flip it to the other way, if you flip it to the right, it's essentially drill mode. So you can see all the zones here go into alarm. I mean, H sounds. However, uh, twin flex call point there is just in normal mode because uh, it wasn't set off. So let's go ahead and 
reset that again. And that's pretty much it. So go ahead and shut the cabinet here. And go ahead and unplug everything. And you can see when it powers down like that, uh, the zones go in, the zone trouble LED lights up. Um, I think that's kind of a little bit cool how it does that. So yeah, that is an, the initial demonstration of the Potter Electric Signal FireGuard 4000 series fire alarm panel. Four zones, conventional. Rate, comment, like, subscribe, you know the drill. And I'll see you guys later.